Hello folks, welcome back to the show. Something completely unique and different today. We're going to do the first AI video review of fragrances. And I'm bringing it here to you in the fragrance community, Mr. Smelly, first yet again with a new fragrance concept. However, thank you to Mr. Clean, my regular live stream guest for this idea. He actually made the one that we're going to show you about my fragrance, Bon Viveur, and I've done some other ones. Let's see if you like this topic. Before we do that, though, please don't forget, go to myfragrancesamples.com if you want to buy fragrance samples in the USA, Canada, or Puerto Rico. There's a link in the description. And don't forget also so my amazing release here, Gravitas Essentia, is now available in the UK, USA and Canada. It takes the amazing and highly acclaimed Gravitas, adds mint, artemisia and bay leaf. And that kind of lifts all the citruses up to a fresher flanker. Could have been called Gravitas Odor Sport. But the 80s are over, baby. Here we go. Introducing then, guys, Arthur, the AI review bot. And he's going to review some amazing fragrances. Okay, first up, we have Prada Luna Rosa Ocean EDP, whatever that is. Let's see what Arthur makes of that one. All right, mates. Got me hands on this Prada Luna Rosa Ocean EDP, didn't I? And let me tell ya, it's a right load of bollocks. Smells like a posh git trying to be all fancy, but misses the mark by a mile. It's like someone mixed seawater with grandma's old perfume and called it a fragrance. Bleeding L, it's more like Luna Grosa than Luna Rosa. And don't get me started on the performance. It's as weak as a cup of the old Rosie Lee with no bloody sugar barely lasts an hour on me skin. I might as well splash some tap water on me neck. It'll probably last longer. The bottle looks like it was designed by some bloke who had a few too many pints down the pub and thought it was a good idea to slap on some random plastic bits to make it look edgy. What a blimey mess. Save your dosh, lads and lasses, and steer clear of this overpriced rubbish. There are better fragrances out there that won't leave you smelling like you took a dive in the Thames. Prada Luna Rosa Ocean EDP. More like Prada Luna loss me a lot of money. I'm talking pounds, shillings and pence isn't I? Absolute rubbish, if you ask me. Stay away, unless you're fancy smelling like a wet dog in a tuxedo. Don't be a tosser. Skip this Prada Luna Rosa. Thank you. All right, we'll give that one a miss then. Okay, next up, we've got something called Aventus by Creed. Arthur, what did you make of that one? All right, listen up, you lot. So, I got me hands on this posh-sounding fragrance called Creed Aventus, and let me tell you, it's like wearing a fruit salad on me neck. The scent hits you like a ton of pineapples and apples, with some fancy spices thrown in for good measure. It's like walking through a fruit market in the middle of a heat wave, I tell you. Now, the bottle looks like it belongs in the Queen's boudoir or some fancy museum, but who cares about that when you're smelling like a bloomin' tropical fruit salad, am I right? And the price? Blimey. It's like buy in a small car or put in a down payment on a house. I'd rather spend me dosh on a trip to Barbados and roll around with some fruity birds there. Look, if you wanna smell like a fruit ninja or a fruity cocktail, then go ahead and splurge on this Creed Aventus thing. It's not my problem, governor. But for us regular geezers who prefer smelling like a proper pint and a bacon sarnie, it's a pass. Stick to the cheap stuff, mate, and save your quid for a night out at the pub. Cheers, and don't let the pineapples get ya. Next up is one of my personal long-standing favorites, Boucheron Porom Eau de Parfum from the house of Boucheron. Arthur, over to you. Listen up, you muppets. This Boucheron Porom is a proper belter, I tell ya. It's like a right hook to the senses, in the best way possible. First off, the opening is bang on. It's got this fresh blast of citrus and lavender that's as invigorating as a cold pint after a long day on the job site. And then, it gets all spicy with that cinnamon and cardamom, like a fiery curry that's got me salivating. But what really does it for me is that leathery, smoky vibe. It's like a well-worn leather jacket that's seen its fair share of adventures in the East End. And the way it blends with that sweet tonka bean and vanilla, it's like a proper East End dessert. The performance is top-notch too. It sticks around like a loyal mate at the pub. And the sillage? It's as noticeable as a flashy set of threads. This bleeding boucher on poor home is a scent for the blokes who ain't afraid to stand out, who want to make an impression wherever they bloody go. It's bold, it's ballsy, and it's got that cockney swagger that'll make you feel like the king of the East End. Proper mint, I tell ya. Okay, now it's one that certainly won't be adding itself to my collection anytime soon, but let's see what Arthur thinks. It's Spice Bomb Infrared. Listen up, 
you lot. This spice bomb infrared is an absolute bleeding joke. It's like a punch in the gog with a knuckle duster made of spices. I don't know what them perfumers were smoking, but this ain't it, chief. First off, the scent is all over the place like a dog's dinner. It's like a dodgy curry mixed with a cheap air freshener from the pound shop. It's so cloying, it'll make your eyes water quicker than an onion. And the longevity? Well, it's about as long lasting as a lollipop in the Sahara Desert. Blink, and it's gone. And the bottle? Don't get me started. It looks like a hand grenade that's been sprayed with glitter and dipped in hot sauce. It's as tacky as a hen party in Benidorm, and I wouldn't be caught dead with it on me shelf. Save your dosh, mates, and skip this spice bomb infrared nonsense. It's a right disappointment, and whoever came up with this rubbish needs a slap across the chops. Steer clear, unless you wanna smell like a spice bazaar gone wrong. Load of bollocks. And now let's find out what Arthur makes of Bon Viveur by Norton and Wilson. If you want to buy that, there is a link in the description. All right, me old China, listen up and take a butcher's at Norton and Wilson Bon Viveur. This perfumes the real apples and pears, and it'll make you smell like a ripe dapper geezer. The bergamot and grapefruit notes are like a bit of apples and pears in your gob, getting your nostrils all perk up and ready for the rest of the fragrance. When the lavender and spices come through, you'll be smelling like a proper nut. And the base of woods and musk is like a solid old boat race that'll keep you smelling fresh all day long. It's a fragrance that'll make you feel like a proper Jack the Lad, and let everyone know that you're a real diamond geezer. So if you're looking for a fragrance that's the dog's bollocks, then Norton and Wilson Bon Viveur is what you want, mate. No ifs or buts about it. So that's it. L let me know if you liked this concept or if you didn't. And if you did like it, please subscribe. Even if you didn't, you could subscribe and maybe the next video will be better. It could hardly be any worse, could it? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Remember, whatever we're doing in life, let's project. And although sometimes life really can stink, at least we can always smell good. Bye-bye.